Hey everybody and welcome back to Basinger's Disc Golf Channel. Josh here and I'm joined again with local pro Seth Overbay. What's up guys? We got some more BDGC tournament coverage for you. Please subscribe for more disc golf videos if you haven't done so already. Once again we're at the 2019 Tennessee State Disc Golf Championships. It takes place here in Morristown, Tennessee. After 36 holes we've got Chris Dickerson in the lead at 28 down. Joey Lutz and Brandon Brown tied at 26 down and Chris Oerick and Zach Melton at 24 down. So these guys are coming off of a uh, Morristown Kiwanis round. They played two rounds this day on day two, and uh, Kiwanis first, and then we are at the beast of Morristown now. This is Panther Creek Disc Golf Course. Absolutely, this course is easily the hardest course that they're gonna be playing all weekend. Um, it was a long day on Saturday, playing both courses in the same day. Absolutely. So you can see here we got Chris Dickerson first up on the tee. Starting on hole three, once again, I'll mention because H.B. Clark, the tournament director, had the ladies start on uh, holes one and two, so always starting on hole three during this tournament. Looks like Chris has lined up the hazard flip down the left gap. Mm -hmm. A little early, a little left with that skip. Oh, it's a good row. Yeah, still a little bit on the left. Here we got Joey Lutz of Full Flight, sponsored by Full Flight. So. Um, this is a 635 foot and it's a par 5. Uh, I would consider this one a legit par 5, would you say? Um, I'd say for pros, you you could do it as a par 4. Okay. I mean, most players are going to be getting their 4 mm -hmm. on this hole, in the pro division at least. Next up we got Prodigy sponsored Brandon Brown. Uh, regional player playing around uh, Powell, Tennessee, I believe, yep. just outside of Knoxville. Yep. So. And he's put some moves on that one. Got sponsored by Prodigy at the end of last year. He's a very good player. Mm -hmm. Played against him several times. Next up, we got uh, Team Smoky Mountain Discs player Chris Ulrich, uh known locally as uh, KO. Yep, Chris is uh, also he has a super solid everything, but his putting stands out to me as he's a super good putter. Looks like he's going to the hyzer flip as well. And that's Little, looking good. Mm -hmm. Oh, a light tree. Next up, uh, Zach Melton of Dynamic Discs. Pretty excited to see another lefty attack this course, mm -hmm. being a lefty myself. Mm -hmm. I personally here. try to throw the hyzer flip to the left and just let it fade back to the right at the end. Just kind of put you in the fairway down there somewhere, see what he does here. Yeah, long wooded fairway, and there's a couple holes, but the left side is probably the most open, I would say. That's looking pretty good. It's getting way down there. Oh, yeah. Tailed off a little bit to the right, it looked like. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, he's uh, down on the right side down there for sure. But he got quite a bit of distance out of that one. Joey with an outstanding forehand. One of the best forehands in the game. If you don't believe me... Uh, Paul McBeth said that in some coverage I saw one time. So yep. No, Joey uh, definitely has the best forehand I've ever seen. That's outstanding forehand, as you saw there. Chris, Chris. just trying to sneak through one of the gaps over there. Mm -hmm. He manages to do so. Yep, he got down there. As you can see, I mean, this whole 625 feet, it definitely takes two hard throws to get down there to, to the basket, so even for these top pros. Yep. Chris stands still here, he's not having a run up. Yeah, nice. pinched up beside that tree. It's looking pretty good. Great shot. <laughs> and we didn't get that on catch cam, but he's uh, right by the basket. Pretty close, so. yeah. yeah. Seems to do that a lot. <laughs> so Brandon uh, here, locals call him BB. We'll do that again. That's how you know I'm right, Seth. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm. Didn't quite get up and down there. Still got a little bit of work to do. Zach way down the fairway, but he's in a little trouble on the left, or the right, looks like. Yeah, right side. Looks like he's going to have to throw a forehand. A little bit low. Get some skip. Good skip, looks mm -hmm. like. He ends up in, uh, there's quite a bit of trees down there. Uh, I mentioned in an earlier video, 
locals uh, did a lot of work to cut some stuff out, but uh, it was still on the side of the fairway somewhat. So you'll see yeah. a little bit of that here. Got BB here, the farthest jump putter I've ever met. Yeah, from about 100. A, 100 feet. Gave it a good run. If it didn't hit that tree, that probably had potential had a to go in. Yeah. yeah. Joey going with uh, looks like a forehand again. Berg. Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't you when you can throw a forehand like Joey Lutz? Great shot. <clears throat> Zach looks like a long putt. Yeah, he's over in the same area. I know when Joey was down there, he was moving some stuff, and Zach knew he was down there. He said, go ahead and move as much as you want, Joey. So he was trying to get him to clear up a spot for him. Just a little short. Mm-hmm. As we mentioned, this is a par five, so they got a few strokes to play with here. They're going to be putting for four, it looks like. I think that's Kaos Rano. Good win. That was for his three, I believe. Got Joey tapping in there. Good birdie, for sure. Zach up and in for his birdie as well. BB, yeah, doing the same. And Chris just now getting to his third shot. <laughs> absolute That's... tap in eagle three. That's a good three. Yeah, absolutely. And KO is going to do the same with his birdie as well. So after hole three, we have uh, Dickerson with uh, two down. Moving on to hole four, it's a 660 foot par four. What do you think about this hole, Seth? Um, well, once you get to the top of the hill, um, you're gonna be looking down to the baskets, pretty significantly downhill. The basket's out in the open field, so you're gonna be throwing probably like a mid-range or you know fairway driver flick to the basket. Chris there with a really good drive out into the complete open. Mm -hmm. I would say that's about 300 feet there to the top. Yep, probably. See what Joey can do here, going with the forehand. Hmm, unfortunately hit on the right side there and got knocked down a little early. Didn't catch that one. BB here lining up the flick as well. You know uh, BB quite well, Seth. You've played with him quite a lot. What would you say is the best part about his game? Is? Um, BB has a great game in all ways, but uh, I would say his jump putting or his step putting rather would be the best part of his game. He's, you know, 35 feet right there. He's making all of them. Oh yeah, maybe forehand after that shot right there. Yeah. <laughs> Great shot from BB there. KO on the tee here. Looks like he's opting for the forehand shot as well. Just a little over on that one. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, ended up on the right side there. See what Zach can do. Now, this, he can be quite aggressive here. This is, in my opinion, definitely a good lefty hole. Yep. We have the opportunity to turn the driver over a little bit mm -hmm. and flip it up a little bit and it'll go left and come back right, make it a little bit farther down the fairway than most people. Mm -hmm. Zach's probably thinking that exact thing in his head right now. Getting a little bit of turn on it and coming back. Oh, yeah. Didn't quite get it on the catch cam, but you'll see he got way out there in the open. So yeah, it looks really good. Outstanding shot there. Joey once again with a flick. Yep, he's in those logs that Josh was talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. Caught some trees on the way out. Kay with another forehand. Mm. Didn't quite make it out of the gap there. It's pretty rough over there on that side also. Mm -hmm. That so, looks like he's lining up a thumber or tomahawk. Mm -hmm. Shot to get out of the woods. Not a lot of options, just trying to get up and over probably. Get out in the open. This long wooded course, being out in the open is uh, key. Looks like that one made it out there into the open. He's going to mm -hmm. be able to get up and down from there, hopefully. Yeah, it rolled up the hill a little bit there. That was a good good shot there. 
Joey with a flick. Going against the hill. He's going to be down there putting. Oh, good row. Chris here with a great drive. Can't really tell if that's in his way or not, but looks like he's going to be standstill and putter. Mm -hmm. It's looking good. Maybe a little left. A little shorter than he wanted. Yeah. But probably he's got a putt. Yeah, he probably couldn't quite get the turn he wanted because of that billing maybe or something like that. Mm -hmm. BB after his outstanding drive as well. Wide hyzer. Being able to throw that wide hyzer is probably... Yeah, that's a great shot. Oh, unfortunate roll. Wow. And here's where Zach ended up here. Uh, we think that he might have hit that little pavilion area there, that little bench, and uh, skipped back further into the right there. Soft flick up shot. Go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my lord. Yeah, Great roll. <laughs> yeah. Outstanding roll. KO for his fourth shot. Almost saved the par with that shot. That was a good up shot. Yeah. Joey with the long putt. Mm -hmm. You can see the uh, traffic in the background there. I'm sure that probably gets in the player's head putting towards that. Got BB putting uphill here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great putt by BB. Mm -hmm, for sure. This hole's a good three. If you get it. Mm -hmm. Dickerson's looking straight at the downhill here, so maybe a little bit of a death putt, but. He's probably not even thinking about it. <laughs> probably as many putts as Chris has made. <laughs> Doing his routine as always, no matter how far away he is. Mm -hmm. Dickerson coming off of a 42 at Morristown Kiwanis. 10.48 rated round that morning. Great putt. Joey tapping his in. KO going to do the same for a bogey, unfortunately. Is able to put that one in there, though. Mm -hmm. And Zach with a birdie as well. Yeah. Roll was really nice. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So uh, after that, we got 31 down for Dickerson. We'll be moving on to hole five, uh, 520 foot par four. I'm going to give a shout out right quick to Morristown Signs for sending me these files of these signs here. So I uh, didn't have the option before. So just want to give them a shout out. If you're in the Morristown area and you need some signs done, check out Morristown Signs. This hole is probably the hardest hole we have in our town. Um, mm -hmm. it's completely uphill. Mm -hmm. Like it says 520, but it probably plays 700 feet. Oh, yeah, for sure. And Dickerson just unleashing on a drive there. That is really good. Yeah, you're not going to see <laughs> That's that. really good. <laughs> you're not going to see that often. That's uh, He's way up the fairway there. BB up here. So they're looking. How would you think a riding approach is this? Maybe trying to get a little bit of turn to the right and then yep. fade out to the Um, middle? Just turn a back end over a little bit. Just get some extra flight up the hill. For Lefty, this, this tree, as you see right there on the right, um, it's kind of in the way for us to turn it over, so we kind of have to throw more of like a hyzer flip if we want to get any more distance up the hill. Mm -hmm. Is that, it came out a little bit low, but he still got quite a bit of distance. He actually went to the right of that tree. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen that. It's a good play, though. Mm -hmm. I was kind of surprised to see Joey lining up the backhand here. I figured he'd do like a turnover forehand. But. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's got a great backhand as well. Faded out on the left side there, but uh, once again, he's still up there quite a ways. See what KO can do here with his backhand. Got a good turn on it. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit to the right. He's going to be over there. It's going to be kind of tough from over there. A footing is another big thing on this hole, you know, it's 
as you can see, uh, very, very uphill. It doesn't quite look like it as much on the video here as it is in person, but uh, these guys can't even see the basket from where they're at. Right? No. 99% of the time you're throwing a standstill shot for your second shot. Mm -hmm. Just because there's, you know what I mean, you can't run straight up the hill. Exactly. So it's a really difficult hole. Zach looking like he's going to do a forehand roller. Oh, no. Yeah. Early. Tail off to the right a little bit. Mm -hmm. Shout out to some locals in the background. See uh, Josh Crockett and Ryan Angel back there. A couple cool local dudes. Joey lined up the standstill forehand. This is a very good shot for him. Couldn't really see it there, but looked pretty good. Mm -hmm. KO once again, as you can see over here in the in the uh, limbs on the side and the logs. Turnover. I don't know if he was trying to roll that or just get a flex on it. Great but shot, though. Absolutely. Dickerson going with the forehand as well, and he is way up. This is the longest drive you'll ever see on this hole. <laughs> He's actually able to see the basket from where his drive landed. Mm -hmm. Could be the first time anybody's ever seen the basket from their drive, honestly. Yeah. Or, well, from where their drive landed. He'll be putting for three there. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Seth to see you there in the background yeah, there. There's me in the background. Loving the lavender shirt. We be going with a flick. Did you park that shot, sir? I did not. <laughs> Ended up taking a four. Oh. At this point in time, Zach looked over at me and said, this is where his drive landed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a turnover. Yeah, Flicking that harp. Oh, yeah. Great shot. Joy with a long putt here. Mm -hmm. So you can see his second shot definitely worked out. He's up here putting for a three. Mm. Oh, almost. KO outside the circle here. Let's see what he can do. Is this for his three? Um, I believe it is. Oh, off the band. Actually rolled back to him there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quite a bit of an unfortunate roll there. Which this this area here is it's flattened out by the time. You're up to this area, so it's kind of odd to see that one roll. Just a little weird reaction off the band there. Zach here, that he's very good at that mm -hmm. right there, the little step. It's a great putt. Dickerson for his three. Yeah. I'm not going to be saying for his three very often on this hole unless the word Dickerson comes before that. Yeah. <laughs> Not even mad if I'm putting from four from where he's at. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. That's a stroke on the field. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, not a lot of people are getting this one. K almost K O almost did, and uh, Joey almost did as well. But to hit that, I mean, definitely. That's stroke. a great birdie. Mm hmm. B.B. Putting for his par. Good hit. Joe's just going to tap his in there. After hole five, uh, we've got Dickerson at four down, and uh, Brandon Brown and Zach Mountain at two down. Moving on to hole six, uh, 400 foot. This is a uh, very interesting hole. Um, there's guys that are going to be going this long turnover forehand. Turnover backhand for Zach. Mm -hmm. This one's kind of a pick and poke hole. This is um, one of the holes that still needs a more defined gap to cut out. Mm -hmm. For sure. The Dickerson, he hit early there and got knocked down to the right side of the fairway. At this point, you're just trying to throw a turnover. 
-hmm. or even like that, Brandon threw a four hand roller. Yeah. Super understable disc. He got down there. I mean, he's probably what, maybe 150 feet from the basket or something? Uh, probably longer than that, but still a great spot. Mm -hmm. Zach going with the turnover, like Seth said. Yep. Tie dye Emac Truth here. His understable one. And well, he hit the initial gap. Absolutely pured it. Oh, wow. As you can wow. see, he's down there to the right of the basket. That's, that's you're not going to see that. I that's mean, great. I know we said that on the last hole. You're not going to see that, but that's unbelievable right there. That drive was. Joy with a turnover flick too. Mm -hmm. It's looking good. Could be twice as lucky as somebody else. Someone else did it. Not yeah. luck. Good shot, Joey. Good shot, Joey. Got down there somewhere. Very difficult hole to film as well. I got to give Jason, my brother, a shout out for. Doing the catch cam on uh, Saturday and Sunday. KO also hit early and got knocked down to the right side. He's got another turnover forehand, as you can see here. This is about 100 feet off the, the tee, I would say, and you can just see what that, this fairway looks like down through there. There is no fairway. But yeah. They're just trying to do their best to get to the basket. Mm hmm You can see by the amount of angle they're putting on him. Dickerson here, just, he got knocked down early, but he got was very fortunate to, to land in a, a good spot there. Yep. Looks like a good shot. Mm-hmm. A little short. Should still be putting from there. Looks like another jump putt from BB. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen someone run so many jump putts from as far away as he does. I love seeing that. Maybe just trying to lay that one up for yep. him, give himself a I think putt. so. And just let, trying to let it hazard in there. Mm -hmm. KO's third shot here. Yeah, he should be okay. Mm -hmm. Joey once again on the right side here. He got down there quite a bit. Mm. Very good run. This is Dickerson for his three. This is a par three. It's uh, it's one of those where you, I mean you just have to hope you hit some sort of line there. And he got down there for his uh, putting for a three here. Oh, unfortunate mm -hmm. right side spit out. He's taking his first bogey of the day. Mm -hmm. BB here. It's yeah, a good play from BB. For sure. BB was uh, the winner of our first uh, tournament the BDGC crew hosted. If you hadn't seen that coverage, uh, check that out. Seth, you was in that one as well. Yep, I was. <laughs> uh, check that one out. It's a good tournament. Oh, oh, unfortunate spit out there for Zach. That would have been a great two. Probably one of the few twos of the day, I would say. Mm -hmm. If not the only two of the day, yeah. honestly, because this, this fairway is uh, very wooded. It's a very unfair way, I would mm -hmm. say. So we had uh, three threes and two fours on that hole. No surprise to see no twos on there. Uh, moving on to hole seven, 450 feet. It's a par four. <clears throat> this hole is uh, kind of open once you get out on this, uh, this initial gap here and place to the right side. Good hole for lefties or a forehand. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be lining up a hyzer here trying to get out? Oh, unfortunate. Ooh. Didn't make it out, but uh, we'll see what he's got from there. Hopefully he'll has, have a, uh, a hyzer shot from there to get down towards the basket. Joe here with a flute. Mm -hmm. Even if you just play this hole really straight, just go straight. 
You'll have an easy upshot for three. And <laughs> Joey went really deep. That's juicing that one a little bit. Yeah. Dixon looks like he's going to the forehand as well. Probably D1 of some sort, if I had to guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, he went really high. Oh, yeah. You can see the basket up there. It's great. Behind one of the only trees, though. Mm hmm See what KO can do with a flick. Unfortunately, hit those trees and got knocked down. Mm. He did get out of the gap, though. That uh, Getting out of this initial gap is the uh, problem number one, I would say. So he, he did get out, fortunately. Is that trying to go with the lefty forehand inside gap? Mm -hmm. That looks not bad. Mm -hmm. Kale here also looking up that inside gap. Oh. Didn't quite hit this gap that he's trying to hit there. No, he ended up actually exactly right here where BB is off of his drive, so. Um, Unfortunately, they had to crawl in this tree and take a knee and get down there and try and flick something out here. That's a great shot yeah, getting out from there. It's going to be putting. Kale right there in the same spot. Mm -hmm. See him on the right side of the screen there. Flicking out. Also a great shot. Mm -hmm. Joey Oakley going pretty long. Turnover forehand. Almost puts it in. Great shot. Zach here. Mm. Yeah, he got knocked down, but he should have a putt there. Dickerson looking to get up and down, trying to get a... You know, he's definitely trying to get this birdie after that mm. last hole. Looks like he's going to do so. So Zach actually a little further out than I thought he was. Outside the circle, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Just low. Mm -hmm. I think that would have been for a nice par. Yeah. It's lucky he's just going to be tapping in the boat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you get hit on that, you know, if you don't get out of that initial gap, I mean, strokes just seem to add up most of the time. So, fortunate for Zach to get down there and be able to save his par. Or, well, actually, a bogey, but he had a putt for his par. Great birdie from BB. Same from Dickerson. Stress for you, birdie? Yeah. Joey's going to do the same. Does that care just to tap in? Yeah. I'm not feeling too good about this one, but there's always the next hole, right? Yep. So, we're going to be moving on to hole number eight. Uh, 405 feet uh, pretty much straight but uh, very small fairway and a low ceiling as well oh mm. no early tree there from BB mm -hmm. looks like he slipped a little bit on the tee maybe Joey lining up forehand this one 405 feet but I feel like it plays quite a bit more than that because oh, yeah, it is uphill. Joey just pulling his little left. Mm -hmm. He's in the middle though. For me, I think that like a, a hyzer flip is probably the best option on this hole for, mm -hmm. a, for a lefty at least. Pro I would say the same probably for a righty. Just something that's going to flip up like that. Oh, went a little bit too right on him. He got knocked down on the right side. Yeah, that looks like his roller disc. Yeah, it looks like he's on that rolling for sure. Yep. Kato is one of the best roller players I've ever played with, personally. Um, seeing him throw that disc specifically on a lot of roller lines that go really far. If that one would have uh, been a little bit more right and had a chance to uh, stand up and roll straight, he probably would have been up there at the basket. Zach going with looks like a hyzer flip, as we had mentioned. Pro. That's super nice. Mm -hmm. Press the hill even. He's oh, up yeah. there. And you can see Zach got almost a full flight out of that disc and 
he's still got a long putt, so definitely hard to reach this hole. Good out from BB there. See what Joey can do. It's looking good. Oh. Flash in the basket. Yeah, almost put that one in. Chris here stretched out about as far as he can possibly stretch out. <laughs> Come on. Oh, unfortunately, didn't quite get as much turn on it as he wanted. A little short. Mm hmm. BB in the middle here. Probably A2, if I had to guess. That came out of his hand. It looked like it was going to be far right, but it flipped up. That's a great shot. He knew exactly what that disc was going to do. Mm-hmm. Okay, with a little touch flick. He's up there. Mm-hmm. So, Zach, as you can see, I mean, he got a lot of distance on that drive and still just not quite there. Good bid. Kelly wanted it though. Mm -hmm. Chris here from under the tree. Ooh. Oh, close. Low from Chris. So shout out to uh, Kevin Harris at Smoky Mountain Discs. If you're in the Knoxville area, make sure you check them out. He's the one that's sponsoring KO there. All these guys are just going to come up and tap in their putts here. Mm -hmm. Should be no problems. Unfortunate four for Chris. And after that, we have uh, two fours and three threes. Moving on to hole nine, 710 feet. This one is an absolute uh, bomber hole. Yeah, this is a good Roddy Hazard hole. These guys are going to be able to rip it out there, maybe give it a little bit of turn. It's pretty downhill, even though it's 710 feet. Mm -hmm. It's a good shot from Joey. Oh, yeah. KO next on the tee. Looks like he's going with a backhand as well. Got a little turn on it. Mm -hmm. It's going to get down there. Mm. Probably around where Joey is. Zach now here being the lefty, he's going to be probably trying to turn something over a little bit and then get some eventual fade. That's one of his gold line ballista pros there. He's going to try to give it a little bit of turn. Mm -hmm. Looks like he did it pretty well. It's looking good. A lot of distance on that one. It's actually pretty good being over there to the right as well. It's wide open for the forehand to the basket. Mm -hmm. BB going with the backhand. Just so smooth. Looks like he's throwing a putter as smooth as he throws it. Great shot from BB. See what Dickerson can do here. I'm assuming D1. Uh, you think so? Looks like a gray D2. Gray D2. Okay. Overstable. He's just getting all of that one. That's a lot of turn on it. Oh my goodness. That's super high. Yeah. Not yeah. bad. So you see the baskets down there in that little opening. Looks like BB's going to have a hosler approach here. Looking like a good shot. A little deep. Oh, mm -hmm. roll down. Is that going with a forehand approach shot here? Maybe a justice? Not sure. Short. Yeah, a little bit short. Just putting though. Good angle here. Good catch cam, Jason. Short from Joey as well. Mm -hmm. He got around the curve. Uh, he didn't like that out of his hand because he didn't think he made it around that curve, but he did there. So 
Fortunately, he's got a putt. Little pitch up and roll from KO. It's mm -hmm. a good spot. Chris here with his easy putter approach. Yeah, I think he's got that one. Yeah, for sure. Zach just outside the circle. Little step again, and he got it. Mm -hmm. That's a good birdie right there. Do you think these top pros are thinking par four? Or they're probably thinking a three, right? Uh, no, I mean, they want to get a three. I'm not, I mean, you're not really two in this also. Mm -hmm. I would say their main goal is just to get a three. Mm -hmm. Looks like BB caught that leaf on his putt. Joey taking his time. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of distractions down here in this area because there's a public park or par public pool over there on the right side. Joey coming back for the par. We got it. Absolute tap in for birdie for yep. Dickerson. Easiest birdie mm -hmm. in this hole ever. K.O. taking a step back and looking at it before he steps up to it. Playing with his pro rhino. Just tapping that one in. Mm -hmm. And on hole nine, we had uh, three birdies and two pars. Dickerson sitting at 32 down now. Moving on to hole 10, 740 feet. What do you think about this one, Seth? I think this is a very difficult hole. Um, you want to get your birdie here. Um, some of these guys are probably even going to try to play it for eagle, mm -hmm. which, but it is very difficult to do that. Uphill as well. You want to play your shot for the, for the pros. If you're going to try to attack for the three, you want to play it up more to the left side because that, that leaves the gap a little bit wider. Mm -hmm. So for Zach here, assuming he's going to try to turn it a little bit, lefty back in, get up on top of the hill. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Got caught up early, didn't quite make it. He made it out, but didn't get as much on Not where you want to be. Mm -mm. Looks like Chris is going to take a good run up here. Mm -hmm. now, I don't know if you could hear it there, but there's some distractions. A horn beeping and some kids screaming did not affect him one bit. Nope. So absolutely crushed that. Looks like Joey here is going forehand. Probably going to try to turn it up there on the hill as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. Some good turn on it. It's a great forehand shot. He's tucked a little bit to the right, but he'll have something from over there. Mm -hmm. Do you know what this disc is from BB here? Um, no, it looks like a core team D2, but I'm not exactly sure. All those core teams are purple. Mm -hmm. It's a good shot. He's out in the open. Zach going with a hyzer. He's just playing for the gap now. Mm -hmm. That's a great shot from where he was, though. Mm -hmm. So you can see that uh, where the woods are there, there's a path down, kind of like right in the middle of that. So they want to hit exactly where BB's going right now. Yeah. From the right side, you have to go super wide if you're wanting to try to get down the hill. Mm -hmm. Very interesting hole because you start out in a little wooded area to make it out to the open only to go back into the woods. So. Looks like Kay is on a turnover here. A roller. roller. Mm -hmm. Very oh. oh. Unfortunately, got knocked down at the edge of the woods there. So after you make it into the woods, it starts going downhill and the basket's down to the right. Looks like Joey, he's going for some inside gap here with the forehand. Mm. A little low. Dickerson is lining up the big hyzer over the top here, which you don't it's see that very often. aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Definitely trying to play this one for the three. Got a very big run up. Looks like he's going to try to attack. Mm-hmm.
Got that one up there. I don't know if he turned it enough, though. He got somewhat in there, but actually didn't go quite as far as he was hoping. No. I remember after that throw, Dickerson said, it's a lot of work for 150 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Looked like a good flick from KO there. She's always going to be doing the same. It's looking good. Mm-hmm. Zach forced to do a uh, forehand Anheuser shot here, trying to turn it over. That's good. Yeah. Cut a late tree, maybe. Didn't quite see it. BB jump putting from another 100 footer. <laughs> 150. I don't think he was actually running that, just trying to put it close, and he actually caught a limb there on the ground. Mm -hmm. So you can see Dickerson here did get caught up a little bit earlier than he wanted, but it should get up and down for a four. Mm. It's going away on him a little bit. He's going to have to have a, make a good putt. Mm -hmm. See what KO can do from his putt. Went a little bit long. Well, quite a bit long, actually. Putting up towards the basket. Oh. Mm. Off the chains. Good run. Zach here straight on out with his judges. Team judge, right? Yeah. Looks like he's having to stand a little differently than normal because of some trees or what not taking his time mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, almost slow left mm -hmm. Dickerson here putting for his four See if he can get it up and in. Taking his time. Mm -hmm. Love to see that he puts his routine into it every time. Yep. And it obviously works out for him. Yep, they don't call him the robot chicken for nothing. <laughs> BB after that 150 foot jump putt. <laughs> it's putting with the Glow PA3s. A little low. Yep, left that one low. Looks like he's going to get a par though. Mm -hmm. Joey, maybe what about 20 feet or so? Mm, can't really tell, but not too far. I know he was further out, I remember, than it looked in the uh, in the video here. Making that one though. Mm -hmm. Good birdie. Zach, so going to tap this one in here. Yep. And BB KO here, I'm just going to tap in. Mm -hmm. Yep. Up and in. Got his par. Yeah. And BB as well, going to tap in for his par. Still no shame in a par on this one. I mean, that's very hard hole. Mm hmm. So Dickerson and Lutz with the fours there. Good fours on that hole. Dickerson now at 33 down. Going on to hole 11, 620 foot par five. This, uh, probably the hardest, one of the hardest holes in Morristown. This one in hole five. This this hole, um, you're gonna wanna try to, just if you're a right-handed player, you wanna throw that backhand hyzer and just get it going left and up the hill. Super uphill hole. Mm -hmm. Focus on not hitting any trees. Looks like Dickerson's done exactly that. Yeah, that's a great drive. Puts him in a good position to attack 
if he wants to for the Eagle. Mm -hmm. Joey going to the backhand as well. Yep. Just lining it up. Oh, yeah. got a tree and kicked it to the right a little bit, but still finished forward. So it should be okay. Kale's been throwing that purple disc on almost every hole, throwing it really well. Mm -hmm. I would say this hole probably takes longer than any hole to play on the course, yep. what do you think? Yep. Zach here. This plays well. Um, as a lefty, you want to just try to turn over as far as possible. Um, but when you throw it as high as you need to, you risk hitting a tree and kicking. And when you hit a tree high, it's trying to fly again. Mm -hmm. mm. Unfortunately, hit early and skipped over to the left side. Yeah. The left side's rough, too. It's mm -hmm. going to be pinched off a little bit. Yeah, when you get off to the sides on this hole, not a lot of options. I mean, the fairway's pretty wooded in itself, but off the fairway is just a whole different beast. As you can see here, from Zach doesn't have a whole lot. There's a couple options there. It looks like he's going with a turnover backhand. He went pretty far left. Mm -hmm. Looks like he tried to turn over his Ballista Pro there. Didn't make it quite as far as he wanted, probably. Mm -hmm. He hit and knocked even further over to the left, unfortunately. You can see here the footing on this hole. Just as we said on hole five, it's uh, there's a lot of spots where you really can't get your footing. So the run up is not as common on this. You can see Zach here doing just a standstill forehand. Unfortunately, over in the brush, not very many gaps over on the left side either. Mm -mm. Fortunately, hit another tree. He's still on the left side, battling over there. Up to Joey's drive here. It's a great drive from Joey. I mean, he got knocked down earlier than he wanted, but he still got quite a bit of distance out of it. Um, when you're able to throw a standstill forehand as far as he does, it's a really good play. Mm -hmm. There's not many people who can do that, though. No. Baby here as well, going standstill flick. Mm -hmm. Looked like maybe a roller. Forehand roller up the hill. Never seen that before. Trying to play into the rocks, I guess. Mm -hmm. Chris here with an absolutely crushed drive. He's mm -hmm. going to be trying to attack for the three, it looks like. Taking a big run up uphill. You mm -hmm. don't see that very often. Chris, no stranger to the courses in this area, though. Just He lives in, around the Limestone area, so just about 45 minutes outside of Morristown. And that looked crushed uphill. Yeah, he's going to yeah. have a look, seems like. Zach over here battling. He's just trying to do what he can to get back in the fairway and just get finished with this hole and move on. Looked pretty clean, though. Mm -hmm. Couldn't really see it, but... KO now battling on the right side of the fairway there, as we said, getting off to the sides on this one. Just, just kind of pick your line and hope you hit it. Mm. But unfortunately, really early hit there. They're going to be flicking. It's a pretty good flick from where he was, though. He's going to be up there. Mm-hmm. He should be up there for a putt. Joe here with his third. Leaked a little right, maybe? Yeah, it looks like a little bit right. The basket is uh, at the top of those, the second set of rocks that you see there. Just kind of on a flat area. They're finally getting to the top where it's about to flatten out. This whole uphill the entire way, so. Just a beast of a hole. Good job by BB, he's up there. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, he's actually a little shorter than I thought. He's back here flicking his harp. He's been working on that thing all day. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Ooh, almost put it in. Great shot from Zach. Glad to see him get up there at it after trouble on the left side of the fairway there. BB, or I'm sorry, uh, KO, a lot further out than I thought he was. Got that pro run mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's a great putt. Absolutely. I think that was for the par too. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good save. BB up next to putt. Mm, the left. Yep, just left it left. Chris here for the amazing eagle on this hole. <laughs> yeah. I dare say this hole has not been eagled more than five times. Yeah, I was going to say probably not a handful of times. And probably all the other times with Dickerson as well. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. He gets it. That's a stroke on the field. Oh, for sure. That one has to feel great. Mm hmm I see Dacecraft sponsored uh, Trevor Harbolt in the background up there on hole five. Ooh. Mm. Joey left that one right. Zach ready to get over this hole. Taps that one in. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, he battled hard on that hole. He had to battle up the entire left side. I'm sure he's glad to be off this one. Mm -hmm. PB just tapping in there. Joey as well. I think that was for Joey's par. Mm -hmm. And this was uh, the final hole on this front nine video, as you can see. Uh, Dickerson with the eagle three to finish out that front nine. So... Great way to finish out the front nine. Three pars and Zach, unfortunately, with a six. Um, 35 down for Dickerson. Uh, Joey Lutz and Brandon Brown at 28 down. 24 down for KO and 25 down for Zach. So that's going to be it for this front nine. Once again, I want to thank my brother Jason Basinger for doing a catch cam for us. And uh, thanks, Seth, for joining me on commentary. Yep, thanks for having me on again. For sure, man. We'll get you back for the back nine. And uh, if you don't care, please check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Basinger's Disc Golf Channel TN. And uh, if you feel like supporting our efforts, uh, please do so on patreon.com uh, slash bdgc. So that's it for this video. Once again, check out these last few shots, some of my favorite shots from this front nine. So uh, thanks for watching. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf in your area. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.